SGC here, and we are back for a final impression. Chernobyl, the series. Because there's no season. And there's no season two, guys. Uh, it's off HBO. It's a five-part historical drama created by Craig Mason and directed by Johan Rennick. Rennick. And it's associated with Sky UK. And it depicts the Chernobyl disaster of April 1986 and uh, the cleanup effects that follows. It features an ensemble cast led by Jared Harris, Stellan Scar Skarsgård, Emily Watson, and Paul Ritter. And it is acclaimed by critics. I know I'm super slow on, on, on this, but it's like basically the best TV show that aired. It's, it's, it's crazy. So, what, what can I say? What can I add to the foe? I would definitely say this is a great time for it to air. Granted, he wrote it in, back in 2016 because of just how the real world is happening. And uh, maybe I'm gonna add this. The last episode came out on June 4th, North American time. June 4th, Hong Kong, China time, ain't so good. And it really speaks to me in terms of just the whole state versus self. As in, the state will cover up everything that it doesn't look good. And that was in 1986 for Russia, Soviet Union, and that collapsed. Now we have Communist China pulling the same damn thing, killing thousands and not talking about it. And, you know, just hide it under the carpet, per se. So that was a hard-hitting episode for me to watch. And what is the cost of lies? It's just more lies to cover up the truth. But granted, the truth will always be there. And um, yeah, so definitely really speaks to the heart in terms of, you know, you know, figuring out what happened. And uh, now with like real life like repercussions or just how YouTube is sort of shutting down sort of um, conspiracy theorists on like really big things like 9-11 or Holocaust deniers and all that stuff. Like, you know, the truth is there. Like, well, what's up, guys? Anyway, so as a series, I would definitely say it was really, really well written in terms of narrative and pacing. The fact that you know right from the first, I think, five, ten minutes, you know what happens to Jared Harris's character. And then it's, and it doesn't even start off with the explosion. It is the aftermath. It is the immediate aftermath of when things hit the fan. And uh, just, just crazy. Really speaks to how... The state was back then as in you, you you let the state decide and you let it go the state has said their peace you will evacuate 20 kilometers arbitrarily and you will be safe with no scientific background and you just believe that and it's just kind of like watching that today I guess especially in a freer country per se where freedom of speech and all that stuff you can challenge things but there was like no you don't you don't challenge you know the highest political guy said something and you as a scientist in physics like atomic nuclear physicist you just you know solve the problem and that's it so so that was just like actually seeing it happen i mean granted i, I really loved how the world or whoever's watching this is getting educated on another level of just more information as to like how it felt to be on the ground like rest in peace for all the firefighters that didn't know what the hell was happening with a radiation fire and just the people not knowing the effects of radiation and just the consequences of that uh, I mean yeah like it's just brutal and then and then uh, later on you you see that sequence with like the dogs that that's that's like you know hold your dog tight um, but I got no dog, so it didn't touch me as much that bit. But it was like, well, it's that dude from Dunkirk. He's doing his shrek again. Um, just, you know, confused and just like, oh, what's happening? Um, but yeah, like, Jared Harris, Stellan, Emily Watson did a great job in terms of delivery. Granted, there were complaints on the reveal world of Emily Watson's character of how she can get to everywhere and know everything um shout out to the, like the freaking podcast for this um there's a host and uh the creator craig magson is on it and he explains a lot of things 
a lot of the shortcomings and and it's like you watch that or you listen to that and you sort of like okay that's cool emily watson is a fictional character of hundreds of scientists combined into one character just to sort of explain why she can go to where she can and i think it, narratively it, it makes everything a lot more dramatic and it just moves the um, story along much faster and the same thing for jared harris he had a family didn't showcase that in the series at all there were more scientists around same thing um, but holy crap, that KGB scene where he's like, you took my, you know, you took my friend or whatever. And he's like, I don't know what you're talking about. You arrested her. And he's like, I'm the head of KGB. I don't arrest people. And then that speech of like people watching people and accountability. Holy smokes. It's like, it, it really legitimizes the fact that how they can believe this stuff and go like, yep, this is how the things go. And we just roll with it, and we don't question it, because it's all account. It's all about accountability. So yeah, visuals, great stuff. I mean, I looked at like the real set, like not set piece, but like the real settings. Like whoa, this just phenomenal, phenomenal. Like if you haven't watched this, and and you're you're in it for like you know really good writing and like just acting and just pacing all around filmmaking greatness, watch it. Granted, if you're just watching because you heard it was good, but you you don't really care, or you you don't have like the capacity just to like understand what's what, what kind of things are going on, you might brush this off as like, ah, oh, it's too much for me. You know, HBO does that. And um, but yeah, just seriously, RIP for all those people that you know tr did their thing back like 30 something odd years ago, 33 years ago, of just you know sacrificing. Like the green, the green machines. Yeah, that was the term they used. I read one other article on the Guardian saying that the the liquidators who went up to clear the roof were just green, green, green robots or something. Because you know robots were dying up there because of the radiation, but yet the human body could withstand the radiation for a short enough or short time enough to clear the the graphite off the roof. Like holy crap! Like when I think about this, I, I'm pretty. Like, it's gonna stick around, stick in my head for a long time. Graphite, bon boron, like, dang. Thank you for bringing this to the world. Wonder, are we gonna get more stuff from Mason? I mean, granted, he wrote Hangover 1 and, like, 2 and 3, I think 1 and, like, the, yeah, like uh, some other comedies and all that stuff. Apparently, McCory, Christopher McCory on Twitter was saying, like, you, he had a conversation with... Mason and he's like, dude, you write comedy, and you're trying to do drama. Oh boy, but he did it, and he did a mighty fine job. And team, the like actors, actresses, all the crew did a great, great job. So yeah, thank you, thank you for bringing this truth to the world. And lo and behold, uh, Russia is coming out with a their own version, uh, saying the real facts are that the CIA had a spy in there and made that plan go up. Like, damn it. It's been 33 years and countries are still their stupid ass countries. Anyways, that's it. This is the final impression. There is no season two. Um, just support it. Um, yeah. So uh, keep watching, keep liking, subscribe, and share because sharing is caring. And I'll see you in the next final impression. Out.